Hi everyone, Colleen here, and welcome back to Gut Balls. Today I'm going to share with you the exercises that I do to help me with eating and speaking. Now if you remember from my previous videos, my muscle weakness is primarily on the side of my face, and my onset uh, being on the slip and my tongue. So even though it does affect my ability to show you these exercises today, it's not going to stop me from doing them because the point is to keep the muscles as strong as possible for as long as possible despite the atrophy. So, let us begin. The first one, um, you will see the atrophy effects when I try to whistle. You can see the atrophy right here when I go like this. If you can whistle, I suggest you do that because it helps with the lifts and it also requires some lung power. So do that if you can, that's my suggestion. The next exercise helps also with my jaw. Wow. I caught a little bit there. It's kind of helpful for when we have those really big yawns and sometimes our jaws lock up. So when I do this, not only is it helping uh, my cheeks and lips stay flexible, but my jaw as well. The next exercise I want to show you also uh, for my cheeks, but also helps my soft palate, which helps me when I'm eating. What I do there is I press my lips together and poof out my cheeks. Again, a little bit difficult with the atrophy, the air is escaping, so I really have to concentrate there. I also want to take turns on the sides, uh, proofing out the different uh, So I do those throughout the day. The next exercise I want to show you is a series of exercises I do with my tongue. Uh, the, again, the atrophy is going to affect my demonstration, but I want to describe them to you. The first one, I take my tongue and I put it on the roof of my mouth, right at my teeth. And then I want to move back and forward. Um, really try to stretch that to get it as far back as I can, back and forward. Then I take my teeth, I don't take my teeth, I take my tongue, and I lick my teeth on the outside, top and bottom, as best as I can. And I do need to use my cheeks to help me with that. Do that as best as I can. And on the inside as well. I want to do that as best as I can without moving my jaw. And these exercises uh, help with eating. Um, Sometimes the food gets stuck in there and try to 
move the food around. I also use my cheeks to move the food around because when we're eating, uh, we're using our tongue uh, to push the food into our into our teeth, into our chopping area. So uh, long before I was diagnosed and the muscle weakness was becoming more obvious, I was biting my tongue all the time. My tongue was looking pretty beat up there for a while. But I do keep up with these exercises to help with that. The next group of exercises I have, um, I like to use um, tongue depressors. Uh, I prefer the individually wrapped, sterilized tongue depressors, uh, not the craft sticks. Who knows what's on those things? Uh, so for these, I can order like, a box of 100 for like $5. Very reasonable. And these exercises, um, I do throughout the day. The series with the tongue depressor, I do them while I'm watching TV in the evening. So the first one, I'm going to kiss the tongue depressor. I want to push it. I want to put a little bit of resistance there. The next one, I stick up my tongue. Again, I want some resistance on there. I'm going to use my tongue to push it out. As long as I have some resistance here. The next uh, set of exercise here, I'm going to put this in between my lips and press. And then I want to do side, middle, side. Okay. The final exercises I do with the tongue depressor, I'm going to use my lips, not my teeth, to go like that, okay? So using my lips, and the sides, Kind of feel like a walrus there. <laughs> I'm using my lips. I've also noticed that with these exercises uh, for my cheeks and my lips, it helps with the drool. I drool less when I keep up with these exercises. When I fall back, I notice the drool. So they have an added benefit besides eating and enunciating. The final exercise I have, I use uh, my tutoy. I call it my tutoy because uh, not only does it help exercise my jaw, but it squeaks. <laughs> The handle here has uh, got a texture to it. It's a little bit stiffer. <laughs> okay, this one does make me draw because my mouth is open while I'm doing that. But, um... It's a good way to exercise my jaw. I prefer it over bubble gum because I do not want to get the bubble gum stuck in there or risk uh, having any cavities. So, 
those are the exercises I have for eating and speaking. I hope you found this informational. And if you think that anybody else could benefit from them, please share. And hit that subscribe button because I have more things I want to share with you in my upcoming videos. And as always, thank you for watching and being a part of my journey.